Hi, I'm Sharon Ayers with Century 21 Redwood and Focus on Nova Real Estate Group. Today we're talking about our top three takeaway and our subject is square footage pricing. What does it mean? Well, when we go to help you as a buyer's agent to look at the, how you're going to make an offer on the house, we mostly look at what's called the, the market value or the comparables that are in the neighborhood. Then we go and take a look at the house. What does it include? Does it have a brand new kitchen? Does it have hardwood floors? Does it have two car garage versus a one car garage? Is the roof new? Is the HVAC system new? Does it have a big, beautiful backyard with a big deck and a patio underneath? So there's a lot of things that you need to take into account before you decide to do square footage pricing. So what is it? Well, it's taking the price of the home that the seller has listed the house as and divide it by the number of square feet in the home. Well, there again, you have inaccuracies. Even if you take a look at the tax records, oftentimes those square footages are not accurate because they may have added on a back room or a sunroom or um, a, a, a garage space. I mean, there's a lot of different things that can cause the square footage that the tax record has listed to change. So the best bet is to do your market analysis. Go visit the home and take a look and decide whether or not you wanna make an offer on this home at the price of which the neighborhood is selling, not necessarily square foot pricing. Anyway, that's Sharon Ayers, Century 21 Redwood, focus on Nova, and the top three takeaway.